Good evening, 47. Your target is a black hat hacker who goes by the handle Protagonist. He is currently in Paris with his longtime partner known as Whitecap. The two have been contracted by Dahlia Mogolis to execute a high-profile hack tonight. No current pictures of the target exist, but he makes use of the hacker alias Protagonist, and he often references a particular brand of cheap fruit jam available in Alabama. You will have to use this information to identify him. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244. Welcome to the Black Hat Elusive Target in Hitman 3. This is currently available for all Hitman 3 players at the moment because Paris is free. So, you can have access to this Elusive Target. So, I'm going to show you two, two different methods for this one. One of them is going to be the fast, easy method. The second method is going to be the default loadout method. So, basically, if you had Mastery Level 1, that is what uh, we're going to go with. But for this one, we're going to start undercover in Iago Auction. You are going to need Mastery Level 19 for this one, though. So that's the only downside to this one, but it is really quick and really simple, really easy. First thing we need to do, head into this attic right here. We're going to head into this room to the left, and there's going to be two bodyguards in the room in front of us. We're going to grab this wrench from the table, and then we're going to knock out this guard staring out of the window. We're going to grab his disguise. That's going to remove one or two enforcers that are just in the attic. There's going to be a lot of guards around, so you need to keep that in mind. We're going to grab that hammer right there. I'm going to follow this guard from behind. He's an enforcer, including the enforcer that's in the area as well. We're going to wait for that guard over there to not look in our direction. We're going to knock out this first guard and then throw the hammer at the second guard. We're going to pick up the key card that he drops on the floor and retrieve the hammer. And then we're going to shoot out the camera that's just above the door. And we're going to use the key card on the door. Once inside, everybody should be in the same position as for you. The target and the guy in the white cap are going to be to your right. So what we're going to go ahead and do is knock out the guard in the room to the left. Get behind the guy with the white cap, knock him out, and then shoot the target in the face. It's easy as that. Shoot the evidence as well, right there as well, just in case you got spotted by the cameras by any chance. And that is it. It's just really that simple. Really straightforward if you start from that. Uh, start location obviously it comes a little bit more difficult when you start in other start locations just need to be careful of the enforcers that are still left in the attic though as we escape you can put your suit back on if you want to and head to basically the basement exit or you can head to the default exit from the very start if you wanted to however because we have the bodyguard disguise on i'm not going to head downstairs and i'm going to go to the helicopter exit so to safely get downstairs and quickly we're going to head out here Jump over this little uh, railing right here and slide down the pipe and down to where the helipad is. There's going to be an couple of forces around here, but we're going to avoid those and circle around the area so we can get safely into the helicopter. So there's going to be one enforcer circling around the helicopter with his, his colleague or whatever you want to call him. And there's going to be one standing in front of the helicopter itself. So we're going to circle around the right, head straight to the uh, helicopter. And there we go. Easy sign assassin for the black hat. Lose a target. So... If you have that start location, it's really that, really that simple, really that straightforward. You don't really need any equipment at all. It's as easy as that. For the default lo location, we are obviously going to start in the default start location with all the default items, including the fireball wire and the coin. I'm going to use any suit we want to. It doesn't matter which one you use. And again, from this start location, it's still really super easy as well. And uh, all you need to do, first of all, is obviously head to where the attic is, where the target is going to be. And uh, we're going to do things that are just slightly different to the first method, but it's roughly going to be the same as what we did previously. But we are going to take out the target with a fiber wire. That's the only difference, really. And uh, the guards are going to be in a slightly different... So it's not, it's not exactly the same. What am I talking about? Anyway, as I'm waffling on. You don't need to grab that key card from the bathroom because we're not going to head that way. So we're not going to go up the, the method where you have to get frisked or anything like that. We don't need to do that. So what we're going to do is take a different uh, route all the way up to the attic area and it's quite quick and easy as well anyway so we're going to head down these stairs head over to the other side of this area jump over this little railing and circle our way around there's going to be no guard here at the moment so we're just going to run across here and then we're going to climb this pipe and this will allow us to get up to the top area super quick you can actually do this in any normal method if you wanted to it's actually the quickest way of getting up here in your suit not a trespassing zone so don't have to worry about uh, people 
wondering what the hell you're doing. So now we're just going to head into the attic. Hey, what's up? Just like we did in our first method. The first part's going to be very similar. We are going to knock out this bodyguard and take his disguise because it just, even though it's not a very good disguise, it's still better than the suit. So we are a little bit behind his uh, route though. So what we're going to need to do as we retrieve that wrench, just throw a coin in this direction over here. That's going to lure him over here so we can take him out and grab his disguise. So it's going to subdue him from around the corner like that. So you will have a subdue prompt when he comes near. All you got to do is just spam that subdue button. Then once we've done that, grab his disguise. Head into this next area. Now you should have these two guards facing each other just like they are now. From this point, what we're going to do is throw a coin in that area right there. They're both enforcers, so you just need to be careful. We're going to take out our wrench that we picked up earlier. This guard to the right is going to head over to where the coin is. And then we're going to throw this wrench at his head. There we go. Once we've done that, we're going to go retrieve that key card that he dropped on the floor and the wrench that we picked up a little earlier. And make sure this guard's not looking at us and then throw the wrench at the guard's head. Take out your gun and then go ahead and shoot down at that camera. And we're going to retrieve that wrench. We're going to need it. Again, make sure you pick up that key card if you haven't earlier. Now, when we open this door, the guards and the, uh, the target's going to be in a different position as he was in method one because the timing is obviously off. So... What's going to happen is this, uh, these two are going to have a conversation and this guard is going to move closer towards us and then the target is going to have a conversation with the bodyguard and he is going to urinate in that bucket next to us. And we're going to make sure the timing is right and then we're going to take out the target just like that. So He wants to leave the room because he needs to have a bathroom break but he tells him just to go in the corner. Keep in mind the uh, the target and the other guy in the room is not an enforcer, but the you are an enforcer to the bodyguard that's in the room, but he conveniently has his back to us. So he's taking a urination break in the corner. The other guy in the white cap is going to turn away, and as soon as he does that, we're going to pull out our fiber wire and fiber wire the target. Alternatively, if you didn't want to do this method and you thought it was a bit risky, go ahead and knock out the bodyguard, then immediately knock out the, uh, the guy in the white cap with the wrench. And then you can take out the target any way you want to. So even if the target turns around and sees everything, it's not going to matter because he's going to die anyway. And that will basically clean that up. So there you go. It's just as easy as that really because we hit the body. We're now just going to head straight to the exit. And we are actually going to put our suit back on just to show a different route back. Just make sure you don't get spotted throughout the attic because that will be a, a very bad time to get spotted at this point because we're now home dry pretty much. So the, the exit we're going to take is the basement exit. Again, I don't usually do this in the, in videos, but I'm going to show you that it is possible in your suit. However, it is a little bit more risky. So if you don't want to take a risky exit, I would recommend just going to the start location where we started off. Just exit through the gate there, retrace our steps the way we came, and you should be good to go. However, if you want a quick way out, we're just going to come through this section. Be careful of the people seeing you. That's why we're going to stay crouched. I'm going to head down these stairs and down the bottom of the stairs is going to be our kitchen to make sure the, guard, the kitchen staff isn't looking towards us as we exit through this door and circle way around the left and head out the exit through the basement it's just as easy as that really simple both methods methods are super easy to do you don't need any equipment for it super simple straightforward and it's as easy as that the black hat is complete and none of these methods were even similar to the very other methods that I've done they're all very very different but it's obviously a lot easier in my opinion but you can be the judge of that I'll leave the link to the original video in the description I'll leave a drop down card as well and I'll leave a link at the end of the credits right here so thank you very much for watching feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out subscribe if you wanted to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams consider supporting me on patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description I just want to say a big thank you to my Psycho Assassin members, Paul Lilly, Bedry, Argel, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller, Isaiah Blake, Nico Senpai, Chris and JD. I really appreciate you all. Thank you very much for becoming Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate it. All these credits are updated for the month of June, so hopefully you should see your name on there. If you want to get your name read out, make sure you are becoming a, a, a member and a Psycho Assassin member at that. And I'll be sure to read, read your name out next month. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.